Well, in today's part two of our series on how innovation is being used for development and emergency support, we look at stressed populations in post-disaster, post-war and or impoverished uh, situations. Viewers Caroline Turner has more. When disaster strikes, electric power often is interrupted completely or lost for days or weeks, which complicates the difficult job of emergency response teams. Alternative power sources are needed until the system can be restored. Diesel and gasoline generators are often available, but they rely on a continuous supply of fuel, and often the emergencies outlast the supply. If there is no stable power grid, other solutions can all play a role as an alternative power source. One power generator on display at the Star Tides Expo is the Zero Base Energy Hybrid Power Source that can create electricity from many different resources. James Pompilio explains. Basically what you're looking at is a mobile storage device, lithium ion phosphate batteries charged with solar panels. Uh, you can charge this via an existing uh, diesel generator. This unit happens to have a diesel generator on uh, on deck here. We can charge power from a, from a wall. Whatever power units you have, you can charge these batteries. This is a ballistic grade panel. This can take rounds. It's not glass. It's a microcrystalline structure. It'll take rounds. This particular unit, once it's, uh, uh, it, it is, uh, part of it has been destroyed, it'll still produce power. In sub-Sahara Africa, zero-base power sources are providing electricity to remote communities to improve stability and reduce dependence on fossil fuels. Last year in Tanzania, the primary school installed a hybrid K-series power system, which is a low-maintenance solution specially designed for Africa. You can plug into an existing solar array if you have one that's on top of a building or in a field somewhere. However you decide to charge these devices, this just comes with its mobile charging. You could even power it off of a, a wind, whatever you need. In 2014 in northern Kenya, the remote community of Les Amis depends on the diesel power station for electrical power. To save fuel costs, Zero Base installed a 100 kilowatt microgrid system to integrate 300 solar panels and a bank of batteries. We have small man portable units that can be uh, dropped into different zones, put in the back of vehicles, hybrid uh, uh, vehicles like this uh, that can be mobile all, all the way up to full on microgrids powering uh, small uh, villages in Nigeria. And there's even been a project uh, with USAID in uh, Haiti. In 2010, following the disastrous earthquake in Haiti, Zero Base donated two H-series systems to the rehabilitation efforts. Later, in 2012, they launched Haiti's first micro-utility in the remote village of Les Anglais. To power the microgrid, we've installed 300 solar panels on a ground mount array and 72 panels on two roofs and the market structures in the back. The hub of our system is a 100 kilowatt power management system with 400 kilowatt hours of battery storage and a 30 kilowatt diesel gen set for backup. For people who have never had electricity, the microgrid in Haiti was introduced with a small amount of power for all customers so they could slowly learn new ways to use it. Carolyn Turner, VOA News. Well, in tomorrow's series finale, we'll look at the new medical technology that can help aid workers virtually transport hospital-level capability to the field.